Hi, welcome to Limited Country. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a space I haven't shared with you guys since actually our empty home tour of when the construction was still going on. Okay you guys, so here's our home. I'm going to take you to the front porch um, where we're going to start the grand tour at the entryway. So I'm excited to share our kids' slash guest bathroom. I think that this is a cool room because not only was it done really inexpensively, like Walmart, Costco status, but also it looks really beautiful and simple. The pieces kind of decorate itself. So I'm excited to kind of tour this room with you guys, share with you guys the prices and where I purchased these items from. So whether you're building, renovating, or just want to upgrade a space in your home, maybe you can do so on a budget just like I did. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is this beautiful blue eggshell kind of color distressed mirror. And I love this mirror. It was actually from Walmart and it would never have been something I would have picked up. But actually our little uh, bathroom vanity matched it perfect and I was like, that's kind of gold. So I went ahead and bought it, put it up, and it looked amazing. So I got this for $39.88 and I felt like that was a really, really great price. So I was really, really happy with that purchase. So now moving down to the bathroom vanity. This was actually a Walmart find, you guys. So really, really happy. It was just under, I believe, $700. And we actually have the same one, but in white in our master bedroom. So you can actually find these at walmart.com as well as homedepot.com. And I actually found that walmart.com carried it for a less expensive an amount. And I just love it. It's I've had it for a year installed. I still love it. Now moving on to the next item is the faucet. This was an Amazon find. And I want to say it was a little under $30. I think it was $29.99 or something like that. But I love the overall look of this and my husband loves to put his mouth right under the sink and drink from it. So these kind of faucets were perfect and I actually asked these for my birthday and so all the faucets in our house actually were birthday presents. Now these beautiful knobs. Okay, I love these. We have these in both of our bathrooms and I have knobs ready for our laundry room once we accomplish that. I love these knobs and these are from Knob Treasures. It's an Etsy shop. I will link a video um, that I did two years ago or so down below sharing all the different knobs that this uh, gentleman creates. So here is an example board of some of the beautiful knobs that Jay sells on his site. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now the next thing I want to share is this beautiful lighting. Now I got this off of Amazon and it was inspired by a blog post I saw on Liz Marie's blog. She's got some great ideas for all things farmhouse, but I actually ended up picking for our master bedroom uh, two different sets of mason jar lights and they're gorgeous. So I think I might end up switching those out when our budget allows and making this mason jar lights because I feel like it would just add so much more adorableness to this space and just, it would be so cute, right? And those were, I believe, $100 each, maybe $50 each. I'll have to check on that, but I will put it in the links below. The next thing I wanna share with you guys is this beautiful blue, kind of a light blue ruffle shower curtain. And I got this for either 12 or $14. I'll have to double check on that. And I got this one from Amazon and I got one in my bathroom as well from a different site that I can't remember, uh, but I paid way too much money for the other one and it was the same brand, same everything. So bummer on me, that's okay. But maybe you guys can score on that deal. But I feel like it just gave a really farmhouse flair and it matched everything going on in this room and it was affordable and cute and yeah. Now the next thing is this really unique basket galvanized toilet paper holder. I did not want to pay money for an ugly toilet paper holder. I wanted it to be cute. So I got this one and it was an awesome deal and it was a win-win. So I didn't have to pay $20 at Home Depot for a ugly average one. I got one really cute and it can store some magazines and I was a happy camper. So that is my kids slash guest bathroom for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We still have a lot of work to do in here with painting the doors, the trim, the sliding doors and all that sort of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you got some inspiration from it. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below of what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching Live in a Country today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.